got allergies? No problem. This dog is considered to be hypoallergenic. That's because they have human-like hair, not fur. Fur holds more dander than hair. Dander can irritate people. And here's another big word associated with this little dog. Pharyngeal gag reflex, where sometimes air goes rapidly up their nose like a reverse sneeze and momentarily makes them snort like a goose. This is usually a harmless event that's over in seconds. Meet the second most popular breed in the world, the Toy and the Terrier. Ladies and gentlemen, the Yorkshire Terrier. I love Yorkies. You know, it's the dog who's always sort of looking for trouble with other dogs. Napoleon complex type dog, uh, a big dog in a little body. A Yorkie, they'll take on a big dog. They're very, very independent, feisty, intelligent, working little dogs. And talk about upward mobility. The Yorkie started in the cellar as a ratter, chasing rodents in factories in northern England, where their origin is traced. These dogs were bred to catch rats for the working class. And then they left the workforce for European high society and are now everywhere, like at this Yorkie meetup in Manhattan. I've had Yorkies since, you know, probably about six, seven years now. I've loved them since I was in college, and we have playgroups once a month. They're so much fun to cuddle with. Cutest dog ever. This portable pooch's ancestors are the Clydesdale and Paisley Terriers, which are now extinct, and the Skye and Airedales from Scotland that were brought to Yorkshire, England by miners and weavers in the mid-19th century. One of the most famous early Yorkies was a stud named Huddersfield Ben, who was said to be the father of the modern Yorkie and had tremendous influence in breed type in the 1860s. The Yorkie crossed the pond to the U.S. in the late 1800s and was one of the first 25 registered breeds with the American Kennel Club. This is a small dog, officially in the toy group, but still a terrier. They average about nine inches the shoulder and weigh about five to seven pounds. Born with a black and tan coat that quickly turns to tan and blue and is pure AKC, if it's uncut, flowing, silky, and dander free. If the dogs are not for showing, the owners usually go for the shaggy look, and some owners like to hair on the face to avoid food getting stuck in their whiskers. Most people choose to keep their Yorkies in what's called a puppy cut, where grooming is not that difficult. If you want your Yorkie to have that coat that's flowing, make sure that you focus a lot of energy on the grooming. Training with a Yorkie can be a lot of fun because they're so keen on their owner. They follow commands and learn very quickly. Yeah, that's such a good girl. They're super fast. They love to work. You get them learning and following the commands. Man, you're not going to get a dog that's going to be more impressive. Rick Karen's Yorkie, Jilly, is a busy dog actor for commercials, films, TV, and ads. And for Rick, training his Yorkie by doing tricks has sharpened their bond and perfected their ability to work under the stressful conditions of a working studio. I believe tricks aren't just for fun. You did it. Good girl. It sounds so frivolous to say teach your dog tricks, but when your dog does tricks, what happens? Your dog has fun with you. Your dog learns how to interact with you. And that interaction led this homespun duo to become an overnight sensation due to the internet with a video of their regular Friday night activity. Yeah, it's a poker playing Yorkie for all the world to see. Let me explain the game of Jilly first. The name of the game is Five Card No Peak Poker. Each player gets five cards. The only goes first. I pick, oh, I have an ace. Out a friend asked me if Jilly can do a card trick. So I said, I don't know, I'll try. So I did the card trick, and I saw how nicely she handled the cards. So I said, well, let me see if she can play poker. Next card is Jack of Spades. All right, Jilly picks out. That's pretty good, but it's not as good. All right, you know, it's my bet, you know. It's my bet. Oh, you're <laughs> pretty confident, huh? Last card. Uh, you have to beat. I have a flush. Jack High flush. You pick. Does she do it? You did it. You got the flush. How did you do that? Jilly wins. But wait a minute. What's this? Jilly's a cheater? Oh, dirty rat. 
Don't ever cheat at poker, because you know what happens? Bang! Yeah, such a good girl. All this fun led to Jilly being hired for corporate meetings, print ads, and TV commercials. A whole new world for Rick and little Jilly. Missy little diva. Oh, she looks great. <laughs> it's one thing doing tricks for friends, but the stakes are high when the lights and camera are ready. For commercial shoots, it's really important that, number one, we get the right dog. Perfect. Good. It's really important that the dog comes in well prepared so it can go quickly. Oh, look at the little tail. By well prepared, she means well trained, exercised, and ready to focus. Being on a set is totally different than doing tricks with your dog at home. When you're on a set, you've got cameras, you've got lights, you've got people all around who are, have business to do. There's a lot of demands, and, it's, and you've got to keep it so your dog likes it. When they need to sit, they sit, and when they need to lie down and dance, they do all these things efficiently, and it makes the job very quick for us. In order for the animals on the set to get proper care, the American Humane Association ensures that guidelines are followed such as vaccinations, water, control on set, proper bedding or crates, they're all provided. There's all rules that you have to follow. It's very important, and we, we, we're glad there are. Yeah, we got to work with Jilly today, and she is fantastic. She's beautifully trained, she's so responsive, and she has so much personality. She's great to work with. Very good. It's a wrap. This Yorkshire Terrier has what it takes to be a dog actor in the big city. You are such a good girl. Give me a kiss. This is a portable, adaptable lap dog that does well just about anywhere. But it always wants to be with you. So leaving it at home alone or outside is not advised. A clipped coat needs daily to weekly combing. And the full show coat requires a lot of attention. You gotta put a little bit of energy into them and, and keeping them clean. But for the most part, that coat's not that bad. These guys are little and have fragile bones. And are prone to tooth decay and gum disease. Yorkies make good pets for adults, but be careful around children. They can be snappy okay. and even bite. This is a great dog to, to have if you're single. They're not dogs that I would recommend with kids. Yorkies are highly intelligent dogs that take to training well. Oh, good girl. I think Yorkies are a joy to train. They are bouncy and energetic. They're very, very focused on people. Although this dog may not be the best suited for you, it can live anywhere. The trachea is delicate, coat needs regular attention, easy to train, and best with older families.